In this project, we will simulate the methane gas flow inside an orifice. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Orifice is one of the most common devices for measuring mass flow using pressure difference. The simplest orifice model consists of a perforated plate that is perpendicular to the fluid flow path in the desired channel. The operating mechanism of the orifices is such that when the fluid passes through an orifice, its velocity increases due to the reduction of the cross-sectional area of the flow and according to the law of mass conservation and constant flow and according to Bernoulli's principle, the velocity increases and the flow pressure decreases. Similarly, when the fluid exits the orifice, the flow velocity decreases again due to the increased cross-sectional area of the flow path, and as a result, the flow pressure increases. Therefore, a certain amount of pressure difference appears on both sides of orifice, which is measured using pressure transmitters and built-in pressure sensors. As a result, the orifice flow meter uses the same amount of pressure difference to calculate the flow rate of the fluid passing through the desired channel. Now there are several assumptions taken into account for this project. First, the type of our solver is defined as pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Second, we have selected the absolute formulation for velocity. And third, we have selected a steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. Also, if you click on the viscous model, in the appeared window, you can see we have selected the RNG K epsilon model since it is more accurate than the standard model. Now, if you click on the outlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined as pressure outlet. Again, by clicking on edit button, you can further adjust the settings related to this boundary. In the appeared window, in front of the gauge pressure, you can see we have entered the value of zero Pascal, meaning that our fluid flow will exit our computational domain to the atmosphere. And finally, if you select the wall boundary and then click on edit button, in the appeared window, you can see stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition are defined for this wall. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Now in order to extract a 2D contour, we have to right click on surface, go over new and then select easier surface. In the appeared window under the surface of constant, select mesh and then below it select X coordinate. After that, click on Compute button so that the solver will calculate the extents of your geometry in X direction. Next, enter the value of ISO values equal to zero so that a plane will be generated in the middle section of our geometry. Now in this slide, you can easily see the pressure distribution over a plane which is placed in the middle section of our geometry. In this contour, you can easily see the pressure drop after the flow passes through the orifice. And finally, in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain. You can obviously see that the velocity value has increased after the flow passes through the orifice. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.